Ladies and gentlemen, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to The Little Red Lie. It's a game I've been looking forward to since I saw it in the upcoming releases on the Steam page. It's a 2D side-scrolling adventure horror game where you have to avoid monsters and solve puzzles. Um, I haven't played it yet. I haven't done anything with it. The art style is really interesting to me, and the little bit of story that I've sussed out just from uh, what the developer has given has really made it kind of interesting. So let's just jump in here and take a look at it. Press E to interact, space to jump, and Q for inventory. I'm going to forget that. From inventory. What will that make the inventory button I? I. Oh. Because it's E to interact, not I for inventory. Space to jump and Q for inventory. Okay. E, Q, nothing in my inventory. You were just going to make me guess what the movement button was? What a strange looking cat. I agree, it's hairless and probably evil. It looks hungry. I should find it something to eat. You know, you got a heart of gold there, Red. Can I jump on it? No. <laughs> Dead bird, anyone? You picked up the bird. I'm about to flip the bird. Maybe this cat wants this dead bird. Inventory. Do I drag it? Do I... Okay, so it's not... So it's just find an object, walk up to object, hit E to interact with object. Okay. You give the bird to the cat. It's just... It's dead already. Stop that. It's dead. What the... Um... Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't go in there if I was you. I didn't want to go in there. The game's making me. This cat has no eyes. You can talk? You can talk. All cats can talk. We just don't find most humans worthy of talking to. Meow. But you fed me a bird, so I will give you some advice. Hmm. Do not enter that forest. A wolf lives in there and devours anything it finds. Mm. Especially pretty young ladies in bright red dresses. Mm. He has affinity for younger girls. The wolf is dead. I watched a hunter kill it ten years ago. But not before he ate my grandmother. I came here to honor her memory. Oh, but she's very much alive. I saw her last in the swamp, mm, living with an ogre. What? How can that be? You don't even know what my grandmother looks like. Stop lying to me. Mm, a cat can be many things. A sloth, a glutton, and a tease. Mm, a dirty tease. But one thing we are not is a liar. But maybe no need for such things. Mm. I, I still don't believe you. But there's a chance my grandmother is still alive. I must try and find her. Mm. But what of the wolf? I will find a way to defeat it and save my grandmother. Okay, in my mind, Red is a bad Japanese addict and the cat is just... Mm. Very well, but be warned. Mm. She may be the last thing you ever see. Mm. Delightful. Well, I can't clear the, so, oh, I have a choice just to ignore it, but I assume I just run to a dead end over here. Yep. I hate the jump animation. She holds her skirt down as, it, as she falls down. He's like, nope, you're not looking underneath there. I just noticed that the, the moon is red. Is that the sun or the moon is red, but it's very airy, but the colors on this just kind of pop between like the, the monotone uh, environment with the red hearts and the red dress. It's very visually appealing to look at. So, so far this is wonderful. Oh, the cat came with me. Cat, how'd you get here? Hmm, I am everywhere yet nowhere at the same time. Hmm, human. 
I see you like to speak in riddles. My riddle, my voice already keeps changing. I got to come up with a, a common tone. Otherwise, it's just going to keep haunting me. Can you please? Can you at least tell me where my grandmother is? With a straight answer? Hmm. I do not know at the moment, but I would tell you this. The wolf that roams this forest is not of this world. Hmm. It can appear anywhere and vanish just the same. Teeth like daggers and a mouth that can swallow an ox whole. I <laughs> love the cat's face. Uh, me in the morning. It's covered with eyes yet can barely see. If you hear it coming, the shadows will be your friend. Good luck to you now. You'll surely need it. Hmm. For while we cats have nine lives, you only have one human. Mm -hmm. Alright, decision time. Right or left? Traditionally in side schoolers, you always go right. Plus the cat went right. Oh, I heard that. Um, you picked up the scissors. No comments. Okay. So trees in the mid-ground are good for hiding in the shadows. I just noticed those creepy eyes in the background, too. Um, what the... No comment. No comment on that. Uh, this is not really a, a PG video, but I'm going to try to keep it PG when I thought about that. <laughs> you are dead. You didn't give me much of a choice. Okay. So, not hiding, hiding. Animation of the wolf is still pretty good. So I'm going to go this direction, so see with that direction. Plus I know there's an item this direction. <laughs> Just go back through the black hole and be like, I'm done, sorry. I'm not too sure what I could have done could have done different last time because I was just going that direction and I was really close to cover but because this won't hide me oh I th thought it was a dead end I'm like okay that side's a dead end this side's a dead end what do you do so, what the okay that was that was cheap Okay. Hey. Yeah, to test it. See if I could jump on him. See if I could kill him. I guess not. At least they have a pretty good intermittent checkpoints installed in it. Instead of starting back at the very beginning every time. And which, I mean, if this type of game had permadeath, I wouldn't blame it because it's. It seems like it would be that type of game, but, you know, the, the checkpoints are nice. So we gotta remember there's a, a, a jerk frog hiding behind, and I still didn't remember. Uh. Be almost time for the wolf to come back again. So those you gotta lead right to go left. So that screen was just to teach us about jumping over the dirt frogs. I wonder if you can get your health back. You take the rope down from the tree. Ominous. Is this blood? Blood coming out of this tree? Can't interact with the blood. You pick up some rice. That was rice? That was an object? I just thought it was these reeds that you see. And I just realized that my mouse pointer was on the screen the whole time. Sorry about that. I'm sure some of you were screaming at me about that, but 
Sorry, sorry. Anything else in the street I can interact with? Can I jump up and give it a high five? The wolf's gotta be coming. Like, I haven't seen the wolf in a while. Picked up a bucket. Charlie Bucket! Alright, so that's the end of this path. So we will jump. Splash, splash. Now I gotta deal with those two. So two or three jerk frogs. I don't want to deal with any jerk frogs, but it just is what it is. Alright, don't get ahead of yourself. Damn it. You knew he was there. You knew he was there and you still took damage. Alright, the other one should be close by. Oh, that was still coming for me too. Oh, Hitboxes are not your friend. Okay. Let me look at my inventory. I have the bucket, the rice, the rope. So it tells me I need to combine the rope and the bucket. For like, maybe get something out of a well or fetching something. So right now, all I need to do is concentrate on these jumps. I need to be better. Concentrate on the jumps. Jerk frog. Jerk frog. Okay, I'm going to jump one more time. <laughs> I like the look of them though. Ugh. That smile gets me every time. Okay, don't forget about that one. Yeah! And we out of here. That was it, right? There's not Okay. For a minute, I thought that was maybe a, a third one that I was forgetting about and I was gonna get freaking owned. So I don't think this hides me since I'm not completely in the shade. Mmm! So, I was correct, that didn't completely hide me. Yet I had no idea which side the wolf was coming from, so... Running one direction would have killed me, probably the other direction would probably have killed me too. So I hear... The howl. So see if I can get him just to spawn, so I can go about my business without worrying about him just... Because right now I'm in no man's land. Which side, I don't know which side he's coming from. Uh, run! Run! I don't know if I'm going to be fan of this thrusting he's doing there at the end. Uh, let's, let's keep it PG, my wolfy friend. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it to this tree. There's no way I would have made it to that tree with him coming from that direction. Okay, there's the portal. She. Huh, okay. I was like, I know there was one in this direction somewhere. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. There's just no... Oh, okay. Oof. Well, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I'm not technically hidden. But I'm technically not in the light. Um, more blood. Mission de pain. De... Oh, <laughs> that was close. Oh, look at all this stuff to interact with in here. Can I climb the ladder? Is that a mouse hole? Can I look in your mouse hole? Alright, let's look at these uh, books right here. Hey, you have... Sorry, I'm going to put my mouse pointer back on the screen. You have... Lord of the Rings. You have Where. You have Recipe Book. You have Who. You have What. You have Pierce. Looks like it says Chopped. You have, you have like a, a snow globe, a birdhouse, some blankets, a box, plant, whatever that is. Going to definitely need a key. Is it weird that Grandma has wolf bookends with a book called Ralph? Some more figurines. Um, a bottle of booze with a, a... Is that a pistol on it? Is that a, a head with a hat? Some candy. Maybe some coins. 
A lot of interesting stuff in this room. Basically, just click it on everything. Um, that stove looks evil. Um, meat grinder looks evil. Uh, that pot looks evil. Oh, is that a fetus in a jar? Okay, I guess we've gone out of the PG territory now. There's a fetus in the freaking jar. Caught him for mixing potions. Alright. Need ingredients, rice, wine, saffron, minced meat. I have one of those. Let's see. Rice equals blood. Wine equals lock. Pig equals meat. Basket equals... Um, s I don't know. <laughs> so that's rice, blood, wine, lock. Minced meat equals sweet ham slices. And I guess that's saffron equals... I don't know what that is. So I guess I have to go find these objects. I mean, I got rice. Let's see what grandma had on her walls. Picture of her two cats. You pick up the lantern. Sweet. I guess just grind up some meat. I don't think that's in your wheelhouse, Red, but you know. Not to pigeonhole you. Let's go jam on the... Ooh. What are these? They look like tiny bones. Tiny bones. If I got the right tools, might be able to pick this lock. Okay. I really don't want to go back out there. But we do what we must. Mention de pain de pith. With little candy canes. Ooh. Lock stage one. Repeat the sequence to unlock each stage. Do I click start? All right, you're gonna be very embarrassed, but I'm terrible at Simon Says. Success. Don't flatter yourself. Repeat the sequence to unlock the. Oh God, I'm red loop. So basically. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Oh, I was hoping that would be it. You know, when they say it's a puzzle solving game, you know it can't be that simple. Red, loop, bottom, bottom, loop, red, loop. Alright, prepare to be very disappointed in me. Um, oh, <laughs> thank God. I couldn't do one more. There's no way I could do one more. You picked up an empty bottle of wine. Now, where am I going to get wine from? Oh, you, Little Red has her own vi uh, winery at the end of the block. Some more tiny bones. Since I got a wine bottle, is there maybe... A decanter laying around that I can fill it with. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm just power spamming. She has a book called Claire. I didn't even take it notice on the shelf, other than the fetus, because the fetus just kind of took my mind from it. She appears to have a snake in a jar, a brain in a jar, some... I'm sure those are entrails, and a beaker, a dead fish, a skull, what appears to be a... It's either a vial of blood or a red book. What is Grandma into? I can duck? I can duck? No, wait a minute. In the very beginning, it said... Eat and interact, queue for inventory, 
space to jump. It didn't say anything about ducking. Uh, I'm mad. Not really, but... Now I'm just going to walk like this for the rest of the game, just to get my my revenge on the game for not telling me about ducking. Oh, do you want me to go faster? Okay. So now those... You add the rope and bucket. Hey! I called it. I knew it. I knew I had to make something out of a well. Okay. You load the bucket and it comes up full of wine. Uh, you fill the bottle with wine. Th that's not wine, that's blood. Hey Red, what you doing by that well? Nothing. So I heard the wolf. <laughs> you can't see Jack. Look, no, stop thrusting. Stop thrusting. Kids are watching. Jerk. I doubt kids are watching us. As we chase after them. So, I have rice and I have wine. I still need meat and saffron. And not to die. Oh! Should have known. Been too long without seeing the jerk frogs. Those are like doo-wop frogs with that smile and they kind of like, uh. Kind of a weird haggard. Oh, that's saffron? I don't know what saffron looked like in the wild. Maybe that's not what it looks like. Maybe that's just their interpretation. Um. No. <laughs> no, thank you. I was more like trying to interact with this uh, wolf water water fountain. So that's the only thing that's on the side. I guess I have to go into it. Because I've been all the way to the left where it dead ends and I didn't see any meat. Uh, this is not good. Hey, at least I got the lantern. Some bones. Jerk. They're coming for me head. I want the cat to come back. I enjoy doing that cat voice. Hmm, did you now? Yes, I did. Shut up. Um, <laughs> that's, that's metal as hell. You picked up the pig head. That's going to be fun. I know this is the point where you just kind of turn around and just leave. But I mean, you've got to know. Okay, this is definitely the wolf spot. And it says... Rinkaku? On the wall? Uh, you don't live here, Rinkaku does? So I assume when those... Bats are going to respawn. I don't remember how many there was. Was it three? Now that I'm looking for them, they're easier to dodge. When you first just run in, you're just like, full boat, who cares? Someone tells me I'm gonna have uh, some wolf issues going back. I forgot about the frogs. That quickly, I forgot about the doo-wop frogs. Mm, doo-wop, doo-wop, wop 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 It was only one? Man, I'm like so in the moment, I'm like forgetting everything, okay. Do I have enough time to run to the well? Probably not. Whew. Okay, do I have enough time to run to the house? No. <laughs> it answered the question for me, and that question isn't there. Just dry humping. Stop. stop. You're embarrassing me. And we'll go back into the house. Oh, gotta grind that meat, girl. You grind up the meat. 
And there's even a little bit that's still stuck into it. That's, I don't think that was there before. If, if not, that's a nice uh, textural touch. So let's look at my inventory. I have scissors, still have no use for them. Hey, I still have the lockpick kit, so I guess there's more locks to unlock. I have the saffron, the wine, the mints, and them. Alright. Let's load this bad boy up. The potion of confinement to imprison a being of this world or beyond. Follow the recipe, then mix it with the blood, skin, or hair of the creature you locked away. Be warned. Performing this ritual with the incorrect potion will result in your death. You only get one chance. Holy hell. Okay. Do I get to change my mind? The saffron was measured in tablespoons. The bucket has ten more of its respectable item in its respectable unit than the cauldron, which has an item of a quantity of five. The item found in the oven has a smaller unit than that of the item found in the bucket. The meat uses a unit of cups. The rice requires a fewer quantity than the wine. What the fuck? Sorry, sorry. And this is the point where I end the video. <laughs> it's been really fun. This is available on Steam right now. It came out this morning at like 3 a.m. I've been waiting on it for like two days. It's called The Little Red Lie. There'll be a link in the description to go pick it up. It's free to play. It absolutely costs you nothing to play this. Go play this. It's a lot of fun. I have no idea how long it is, but the 20 plus minutes I've been playing it has been really fun, including the deaths and not knowing the mechanics and bumbling through it. But go, please. Go support independent developers and publishers like this. And I'll be very interested in what they can put out next. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe on it. Uh, follow me on Twitch at Haunted Husband. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Haunted underscore Husband. And as always, I'll haunt you later.